vlog in here. Okay, we're here with Terry Crews. We just did the podcast. He was just telling us about how in the scene in White Tricks when he sings Vanessa Carlton's Thousand... What is it called? Uh, One Thousand Miles. One Thousand Miles. He said in order to prepare for that, he was singing it in his hotel room like a hundred times over and over. I did that scene about 10,000 times in my <laughs> hotel room. It was so bad. It was so weird that my the maid actually walked in on me. She's like, I'm going to, I'm in the mirror like, if I could walk into the sky. And the maid's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, and I felt bad. Because I was like, ah. Uh, starter for life. Minute, and I was like, ah. Maids have walked in on a lot of weird things. You <laughs> see this dude singing Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You should have seen me when I was doing the X scene. And I, I practiced that one for a while. <laughs> uh, but it's just, you know, you, it's no different. You got to just work, work, work on what you do. And you will get there. I am no different than anybody else. I'm trying to tell you. I just, you know, you just got to get the work done. That's the thing. There's no faking it. That's the secrets, guys, right? The secrets to life are hidden behind the word cliche. Check out the podcast. It's coming up. We go on and on about this. We're about to do the next part right here. But we have Terry Crews. So watch out for the next podcast. WTKGTS. Hello. Dude, that was awesome. Oh. Terry freaking Cruz, that guy is amazing. I well now that we've now that I've met him, I'm a huge fan of him now. He's so like genuine and sincere, and you know all the stuff I'm always preaching to you guys. He was saying all the exact same things. So I was kind of like, yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> totally, you can do it. You can achieve anything. Um, I wasn't like a huge fan of his. Like I know who he was. You know, just like a lot of you in, from like you know, Old Spice yeah. commercials and. And then once you realize actually how much stuff he's been in, like I was going through his IMDb, which is like an actor's, you know, what they've kind of done in their career. He's been in a lot of stuff, surprisingly a lot of things. He just has never had like a main leading role. Like he's like, you know, gone out to where he's like, you know, Tom Cruise status or whatever, but he's gonna, I promise. What's about how he got to where he is today is like, you are a guy that's going places because it, he's... He's never giving up. He's like, he works so hard. And it gives you hope. It's like, yes, like, that's what I've been saying and believing. Like, I can become successful like that. To me, instead of being like, oh, what does she know? You know, he's, he's, uh, he's already made it. It's easy for him. It makes me feel like, yes, I'm going to be just like Terry Crews and, you know, work hard and never give up and, you know, have that moment where it's like, I can't. I mean, it already has happened for us. Just why, you know, how many people watch our videos. Like, we never imagined that our lives would be where they're at right now, where they're at right now, you know, and just to imagine where they can go. Like, having that faith and a brighter future future even even to imagine better things than we already have right now which is hard to imagine the things that we have in the first place because they're so amazing <laughs> I'm pumped up We're gonna get a head on collision. <laughs> Terry Cruz, follow him on Twitter. Go watch Expendables 2. Um, and then check out the podcast. You'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the podcast. But it's gonna YouTube be up. Channel will be yeah, up his YouTube channel's too. not up. They're working still on what they're gonna do for it and getting some content ready. But uh, check him out. The dude is legit awesome guy. Uh, love him. Love you, Terry. If you're watching this, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. That was weird, bro. Weird. <laughs> Hi, guys. Don't tickle me. I ain't tickling nobody, fool. I ain't tickle nobody, son. You were tickling me. Raise your hand if you like licorice. <laughs> Raise your hand if you like licorice. You don't like licorice, bro? I don't like it. That's not, your hand's not raised. You're just going like this. <laughs> Where are we going? Tell him. Vlog we're yourself, going... Rohin. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're going to gymnastics. Hold your arm out. Extend that vlogging arm, young lady. Okay. Vlog! Be funny! Go! <laughs> okay. Well, we're just going to gymnastics right now. And Dad's taking us to gymnastics. That's and... boring. Tell him a funny story. What? You don't... I'm not funny... I'm hilarious with a capital L L A R I O U S. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna hate tell from. I Brent. don't. I don't know what to say. Show him your sister. She's hilarious looking. <laughs> what are you gonna do at gymnastics today? You think you do some cartwheels, some front flips, double back handsprings with a twist? What do you think you got on the agenda, I baby tart? Do back 
walk over. You can? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, baby time can do a back walk over. I really can. After my birthday, we were going to bed and I was trying to do it and I did it. I'm so proud of you, baby tard. You're the best backhand back walk over I've ever beheld. Bodacious. All right, so I'm running to the office. I have to go meet with Brett and my team at Maker Studios. But first, I got to drop off the chicks so they can get prepared to win gold medals. You're going to go to the Olympics and win a gold medal, right? What? You're going to win a gold medal at the if Olympics. I, if I went to the Olympics and I won the gold medal, would you be there? Well, of course I'd be there. I'd be there cheering for you, hooting and hollering. But you better not come in second place or third place. I want gold. Nothing but gold. Second place is first loser. <laughs> Serious. Ow! <laughs> they just got smacked Ow! in the face. Thank you for tickling me. Baby Tard, sing me one song real quick. Hit it, girlfriend. Uh, no. I don't know what song to sing. What song can she sing, Princess Tard? Think of a song. Uh, she will sing Ariel. Uh, Brush and brush my hair. I didn't know what the word. I always been. You got it, dude. You got it. Cause I keep wondering and wondering and wondering and wondering where will my life begin? Yeah! Alright, right, there you go. Lights will appear just like they do on my birthday. That was seriously precious. You guys are melting my heart. I love you! Who goes there? What do we have here? This looks like a bunch of mush. <laughs> what are you making, you weird lady? I'm making curry, but I can't call it curry chicken, which I usually call it because I'm not putting chicken in it today because it is meatless Monday. I'm making a curry dish. I have potatoes. I'm going to put cauliflower in it. I'm going to put carrots and celery. And I'm also going to put a green apple in it. I had a curry dish with a green apple in it um, a while ago. And it was so tasty. It added such a nice flavor. And then I will also put coconut milk, lime. I will probably add some vegetable broth. This is the coconut water. I'm using light. Or not water. Excuse me. Coconut milk. I'm using light to have less calories. And so that's where we're going. And then I may try to put something different in it today. I may try this white hominy because I like the texture of hominy. So that's going to be an experiment. So I'll let you know how that turns out. Anyways, I got to get chopping because we got to eat in an hour. I don't know if it'll be ready. And Sue's Liz is here. Hello. Hello. I was swimming like my hair. <laughs> I do like your hair. I always like your I hair. I like a wild lion. <laughs> I'm always super jealous of curly locks. And of course, all I want is long, dark, shiny hair that goes around my butt so I can swing it around like that. <laughs> you always want what you don't have. It's so true. true. I remember getting perms as a child when I was in second grade. I was going into second grade. I got a perm. And it was so pretty. Yes, it was totally curly because my hair was about your length. And it was totally a curly. A What's perm, it? which means I got permanent. I got curls in my hair that would oh. normally last, what, I don't know, six weeks or something. No, I've never had one. Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> like, Cecily, how does long does your perm last? Forever. She has a perma perm. I have a perma perm. But mine would always fall out within the next, like, week. Really? Yeah, yes. It's supposed to last longer than that. And then when I was older, I tried again, and it didn't even take at all. Like, I left the salon, and my hair was totally straight. And I was crushed because I wanted curls. <laughs> you have perfect hair. Don't change. And you know what? 
now that I'm older, I've embraced the fact that I do not have curly hair. Yeah. I finally accepted it. It's it is okay. just one of those things. <laughs> it must be funny because Kelly now? has curly hair. She does. So you must have been jealous of her curls. My mom and my brother Adam and Kelly totally have curly hair. Oh. Yep, they all got the curls! Wait, Adam, you didn't Adam get any didn't have curly. He, he does have curly hair, now. but he wears it really short. But so he has short hair now and now it's straight. It's No, it's curly. Trust me, he lets it grow out, it's fro. My sister had perfectly straight hair until she turned 12, and then it curled, and now her hair is curl as curly as mine. Wow! Isn't that crazy? Yeah! So maybe it'll get curly hair when you turn 12. Seriously, maybe the genes will pass <laughs> like down. Straight hair. Uh, he's like, no! <laughs> oh, let's cook. What are we doing? Suntar <laughs> just asked. How, because, okay. <laughs> I gotta start from the beginning. <laughs> he was looking up on the internet, what's the difference between crocodiles and alligators, and how did you get to the subject? It was just how, how do you tell, and then it filled in, if a girl likes you, and then he clicked on it because he was interested. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's interested in, how do I know if a girl likes me? And then what did you find out? Well, I found out a lot, but then Cecil gave me another one. I gave some tips. Do you want to give your give your physical reenactment of what? Of yeah, show us act, show us act, what a girl does if she likes right, you. Like you just did in the kitchen. Oh, I thought like she said like your knees are pointing towards you. Like I was like this. <laughs> I don't know if it's that. So it's because and you're playing with your hair. Playing with your hair is a sociological signal that you're interested. Or if you're playing, if you have like a drink and a straw. And you're playing with the straw. That apparently is another signal. I'm not sure if I agree with that. <laughs> but it's possible. It's Correct. possible. These are all just things that I have read. And <laughs> another one is the way your body is pointed. So for if example. If your knees are pointing towards. This is me saying I'm not interested in sun <laughs> <laughs> and This is a this is neutral. <laughs> yeah, come on. And then this is possibly interested. Even though that's completely inappropriate. Or, or, when you're in a job interview, I really want the job. Or, yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like I've sat like that before, and I'm not interested. <laughs> Anyways, all these things that it's all really, who knows. But it's then, just something to type on the internet, and people will read it and believe it. <laughs> Don't believe everything girl, you read online. Tell us what the girl said about the jokes. And um, then you think you might have it. Usually, she said, like, if like a guy says a joke that's not funny and they laugh, that's another way that they might like you. And or they're just I was trying, trying to be tell super a joke nice. To a girl that I like, and I know it was not funny, and she was still <laughs> laughing. So what you're telling me is you like to tell bad jokes. <laughs> yes, it makes girls laugh. <laughs> so you're telling me you're not funny, but it's a way to figure out if people like you or not. <laughs> Just tell bad jokes, guys. Whoever laughs, that's the one. <laughs> Did you just tip over? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why you shouldn't tip over on your chair. That is not a way to tell a girl that you like her, okay? Yeah, it is. Do not tip over on her chair. It's bravery. <laughs> it's bravery. <laughs> that's I important. Like Girls like bravery. All right. Whoop. You can't see it. The steam will not allow me to show you. <laughs> you guys, come on. Quit goofing around. Seriously, this is serious. We're cooking here. This is the chicken curry. Well, <sighs> vegetable curry. Excuse me. We're not having chicken tonight. It's Monday. It's a meatless Monday, you know? Okay, now we gotta make the roti. 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 So we've got our bowl of flour. We've got child labor <laughs> and supervision. Senior labor? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, not quite. Not yet. Not yet. We're not there yet. A couple years. A couple years. And we're going to put this warm water. Why am I pointing with my glove? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And we're going to mix the water. We put salt and flour together. We're going to mix the water and then we will put um, canola oil or vegetable oil, whatever you have, in with it as well. Not very much, but just a little bit. Then we're going to mash it all up into a dough and we're going to roll it out. Roll out. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Rolling, rolling. Rolling. Wait, you sh you sh tell your seagull joke. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Tell the joke. What do you call a seagull that lives by a bay? I don't know. What do you call a seagull that lives by a bay? A bagel. A bagel. <laughs> <laughs> we must like you because we're both laughing. Yep. <laughs> okay. This is my kneading face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what you're doing. I am kneading the dough 
The toe has to be kneaded together. Oh, yes. <laughs> Spank it. Spank it. Spank the dough. Put a little more flour. It can't be sticky. You Basically, guys, this is why I don't ever give you recipes because I always forget how I do it. Because <laughs> I don't really go by a recipe. I just put stuff together and it just is how it goes. No, but you just put flour and then warm water together and you knead it together until it is a nice ball of dough that's not sticking to your hands, but it can't be dry. See, it's tricky. It's so tricky. Delicate balance. Delicate balance. I need a little more flour. We'll see if this works out. Fingers. How do you feel about it? What's your thoughts? <laughs> Give us your thoughts. I just woke up, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> talking about needing dough and stuff. I don't, all I need is a sippy cup. What you got there? A little ball of dough? <laughs> a little ball of dough? <laughs> I think you might be a little ball of dough. <laughs> <laughs> And they look good too. You need the dough, and your two year old sad just makes the dough, and he'll be happy again. You're pretty cute. It's true. You're gonna get back to work? Get okay. back to work. Now we're gonna test the goulash that I just put together. Goulash? Yes, I got a little bit on here, and I let it Wait, cool but that's already cooked. Oh, you're talking about that. Can I have a bite? Oh, I like the hominy in it. Oh, good. Can I have a bite? Because it tastes kind of like chewy, like chicken is. Mmm. <clears throat> Do you like it? That's it good. needs more flavor though. Try it, Tess. I want to taste it. I'll get you another spoon. It needs more flavor, but it's really good. Do it. At the same way. Let's pretend I have manners. Pretend I have manners. Mm-hmm. You like it? It tastes way better. Good. Don't you think? Does it need more of something? Maybe more okay? Yeah. A bit. And Rock Dread's gonna keep making the roti while I fix the, the curry. <laughs> just keep going, boys. Just, just get it. <laughs> All right, we've got finished roti. And the girls have made some hearts that we're finishing up. Careful, don't burn yourself. And Sun Tired made a smiley face and a sword. And there's another roti. So, we're almost there to where we're going to get enjoy this roti and curry. Bye. What do you think? Well, you definitely have been helping. <laughs> Those are the signs of helpful children. Whenever there's flour all over them. How are you, baby tired? Let's see. Uh, yes, ready? Efficiently <laughs> helping. Take it efficiently off. helping. There. And Rob's turn. My turn. Is your turn? <laughs> I mean, you want your turn with your turn? My turn. Oh, I'm so proud. Hi guys, this is Shay Carl. Not me. Shh, you're supposed to be sleeping. Oh. Uh, I stole Shay's phone because I was like, listen, I miss the Shay Tards, and he's like, well, why don't you talk to him? I was like, I tried to, but no one replies to my comments. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to say it's Brett the intern. I'm still here alive. I am currently producing and doing lots of busy things for Shay. And uh, while while he could be talking to you guys right now, he gave me the honor, the privilege to talk to you guys. I just want to say that I love you. And yesterday's vlog is to the left, and to the right is a new Shay Lost video. Shay, is it a good video or is it? Eh, it's just me it's, sweating on the beach. It's Shay sweating on the beach. So make sure to check that out. Also, Terry Crews is on the podcast tomorrow, so check tomorrow. that out tomorrow. Stay tuned. Um, he is awesome. Anyway, one year ago and two year ago, three year ago, click that. And I love you guys. Uh, miss you. Here's Shay. Bye. See you tomorrow.